Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're one of our favourite Old Testament books, the book of Psalms, that wonderful medley of poems and songs. Psalm 91 to be precise, and here is the reading. Psalm 91 verse 11. Um, uh, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So imagine the scene for a moment, a bit like a scene from a biblical film, an epic. And uh, God is looking over us, looking over you. And there is some danger coming. And so he calls angels to him his messengers, his soldiers, his spiritual war, warfare, the soldiers in spiritual warfare, and he commands them to go and look after you and look out for you, to protect you, to guide you, to guard you. You don't see what's going on around you. Might be physical harm, might be spiritual harm, might be harm within a family, things that are being said, things that are being done. He sends his angels to guard and protect you so that you might not be caught up in whatever it is that's going on. You might not even know about it, you probably won't even know about it, but he guards you and protects you. Why does he do that? Why does he send his angels to protect you? Because he loves you. He wants the best for you. And he wants to use you. And if you get spoiled and marred and even killed in some way, then he can't use you, can he? Now, unfortunately, this doesn't happen to everybody all the time. Otherwise, we would never die, would we? No, death happens to us in our mortal lives because, well, life happens and death happens. It's part of the fallen nature of the world in which we live. But in the midst of it, he is there as the one who will protect us. And when the psalm, and Psalm 91 is all about his refuge, the place of refuge being with him and his care for us and his protecting over us. Psalm's all about that psalm. It's all about this. Have a good read of Psalm 91. And it's difficult sometimes to realise that this is all to deal with things in a spiritual realm. He will protect us spiritually. Why? Why does he do that and not protect us physically? Because our physical selves are not as important as our spiritual selves. It's that spirit within us that the Holy Spirit communes with. And it's that spirit within us which will go on to live forevermore. We don't see that spiritual side of us very easily or very well. We, because we are temporal, earthbound people, see the physical side of us. But it's the spiritual side of us that is of greater importance. And that's what the Lord will look after and guard. Even though you go through all kinds of trials and temptations and difficulties, if you remain hand in hand with Jesus, he will guide you and protect you. And your Father in heaven will send his angels to guard and protect you. Do you find that comforting? You should do, hopefully, because what we endure in this life is of nothing compared to the glory of being with our Father in heaven forevermore. So make the most of these few short years that we have. What is it, three score years and ten? Maybe because of the increased health awareness and ability to live longer, it might be instead of 70 years, it might be 80, 90, even 100 years we might live. Is but a blink of an eye compared to our spiritual life for all eternity. There's something to ponder. Have a good day. See you soon.